Nintendo Switch board with a problem. Will not connect the left Joy-Con. Right Joy-Con connected fine, and so did the Wi-Fi. In fact, the reason the console has thought this would help, and now can't use the Switch as it's stuck on the Joy-Con Joy -Con Connect screen. Okay, we've got a Switch motherboard which doesn't connect Joy-Cons. Okay, or oh, doesn't connect the left Joy-Con rather. It's fairly common. I've got a feeling this is going to be a HID board. It always seems to happen on the HID boards. Yep, HID. All right, thought as much. So left Joy-Con. On this particular board is going to be that Joy-Con connector there. Let's just drop it in a test housing. I've got a test housing here with all known good parts. Do 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 da do da do 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 oh do do da day hey do 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 hey do 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 oh do do da day hey. We have no display, we have no display. And high fan speed. The high fan speed is down to my fan being faulty. But we have no display. Why? Why are you not working? There we go. Just a connection issue. Come on. Uh, that's a long boot. That means the game card module isn't working. The left Joy-Con works. It's the right Joy-Con that's not working. Okay. Okay, it's the right Joy-Con not working, not the left one. It's left when you look at the board from this side. Ignore the high fan uh, fan spin. That's just my fan. It is a connection issue. Yeah, that's just a connection issue, but it's the right Joy-Con not working, not the not the left. I will grab another rail just to make sure that my Joy-Con rail hasn't become faulty. Okay, yeah, it's not working. I know my Joy-Cons work, 100%. That's why they're on that test housing. Put that screw into that one because it was, wasn't was screwing in properly in the top one. Yeah, so the left Joy-Con is actually working, but the right one's not, okay. Right, let's have a look with the, th well, let's unplug everything. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to connect it up outside the housing with the Joy-Con rail, plug in the Joy-Con again, and then I'll see if anything gets warm. Sometimes sometimes something will get warm, like a cap will be bad or something like that. So I can boot it outside of the housing by just plugging in the charger. That's, that's not an issue. I don't need to see the screen to be able to see what's going on. So let's just, well, first of all, let's actually slide that onto a rail. Uh, I just realized I do need the, uh, the battery. So there we go. And prompt it to boot. I will pay attention to chat in a minute. So 15 volts, 0.48 amps. Uh, that is booted. Let's just have a look on the thermal cam. Uh, 
Fuser Coder here, just letting you know that this is the Infrared P2 Pro thermal camera. Brilliant bit of kit. I'll get a lot of questions asking what thermal camera I use, so check out the video description. You'll find a link to it there. Uh, we're getting nothing showing up at all in terms of heat. So you can see the board is on based on the heat. We can see that we've got some heat around there. Uh, not much heat because it's not really doing much other than sitting idle on the welcome screen. But there are no signs of any shorted components. Let's have a look under the microscope, shall we? Whoops. Let's have a look under the scope. And hello. Well, that would explain it, wouldn't it? We have some missing components. Right, okay, I'm going to need to heat this up from the other side of the board. So I don't want to heat up from the top because there's connectors there which will end up melted. And I'm going to get rid of this completely. This resistor. There is a reason for that. And that's the fact that I don't know if that's been knocked over from another component or not. Please. Get off. So, because I don't know if it's been knocked over from the other one, you know, from the one next to it, then, you know, I don't know whether that's the right value or not. So, while I'm taking one from a donor board, I may as well just take two. There we go. A little bit of flux. So, what I'll do is. Just replace both of these components at the same time because that's going to be easier and yeah we've got two components on there i'll pull those off I'll just position them and then if I heat up from underneath they should just pull themselves in come on come on surface tension it's very hot here It's also very difficult when your hand is hovering. Look, I can't keep my hand steady because it's hovering over the table. Ow, burn him off in hand. That's better. Hot tweezers would be better for that. Unfortunately, I lost mine while moving. I did have a pair, someone sent me a pair. And I lost them while moving, unfortunately. Because I never used them. They were just stored in my shed and now I can't find them. I'll buy a new pair. I want to get some of the hack hole ones, I think. There we go. Beautiful, mate. All right, time to give this another test. It's pointless putting that game card module in because it's the wrong module for this console. There we go. And there we go. Sound of success, baby.
Yeah, it's upside down, but it's working on the dock. All right, that will do me. So it's upside down because this has to be um, mounted upside down, this overhead cam. It's on the same thing. Right, okay. Yeah, so this one don't work with the touchscreen because it's a V1 module. So touchscreen's all f***ed up, but it is reading a game, so that's fine. That's all I need to see there. Yeah, that's all I need to see is just that the game works. It loads the game up as well. Cool. Yeah, I can sign that off as working. Happy days. Um, one last thing I did want to try is just to connect a new fan. Just to make sure that we don't have a connection issue there. Hey, there we go. Yeah, no high fan spin, and that fan actually works. Cool. Right, now I can call it good, and this console is fixed. Good stuff. I'll take it. There we go. And... I'll just pop it in there. Back here it came, and I'll put it in a fresh envelope. Job done. Good stuff.